If you're anything like me, we can often find it easier to give mercy to someone else than we can with ourselves. We beat ourselves up, we hold guilt, we think about things that we've done wrong, and we don't ever want to let them go. And if we're not careful, it begins to eat us alive on the inside. But we have to understand that we have a God who is merciful, and He forgives us in ways that we can't understand even when we're not able to forget or to forgive ourselves. And how do we know this? Because He always waits for us. You know, in the story of the prodigal son, the father is always waiting and he runs out to meet the child. And just like God, he's always looking for us to return. It doesn't matter the mistakes that we made or where we are in our relationship. He's saying, I just want you to come home. I want to forgive you. And I need you to forgive yourself to accept my love. So we need to ask the Lord to be merciful. He'll forgive us. And we are blessed with the healing gift of reconciliation, not just to forgive our sins, but to find a way to share in Christ's love and to be healed from the wrongs that we've done. So what is my challenge for you today? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine yourself walking with a backpack on filled with all of the things that weigh you down. Maybe the guilt, maybe the wrongdoings, maybe it's something that you've never ever forgiven yourself for. And I want you to imagine that the Father is meeting you in a field and you slowly take off that backpack and you lay it down at his feet and you give it to him so that you don't have to carry it anymore. He wants that from you and he wants you to have arms that are free to feel his embrace. And so as you end that time with the Father, just imagine you in his arms hugging you back in return, taking away all your pain and worries so that you can be in full relationship with him.